Breaking news? AI-powered humanoid robots are training to take over soccer fields, and not just for a few friendly exhibition matches. By 2050, the International RoboCup Initiative aims to develop a team of robots capable of defeating the FIFA World Cup champions. That's right, their mission is nothing less than building machines that can outplay the best human soccer players in the world. Welcome back guys, Alfie here with another mind-blowing update from the world of AI and robotics. It's a bold vision, one that feels straight out of a sci-fi movie. But unlike the speculative fiction we're used to, this is real. The technology is progressing, and progress in the RoboCup Humanoid League suggests that the 2050 goal might not be as far-fetched as it sounds. So, how are they doing it? What robots are stepping up to the challenge? And if they do succeed, what does it mean for the future of sports and humanity's place in the world of competition? Let's dive in. The RoboCup initiative began as a grand challenge for artificial intelligence and robotics, following in the footsteps of earlier AI milestones like IBM's Deep Blue defeating Garry Kasparov in chess back in 1997. But RoboCup isn't just about programming brilliant algorithms or testing technical capabilities in isolation. It's about creating humanoid robots that can operate in real-world environments, under pressure, and in collaboration with other machines. The ultimate goal is audacious. By 2050, build a robotic soccer team that can beat the reigning human World Cup champions. This isn't just a game. It's a testbed for solving complex problems in robotics, AI, and mechanical engineering. The RoboCup competition has several leagues, but the Humanoid League is where the dream of defeating human athletes comes to life. In this league, autonomous humanoid robots equipped with human-like senses and movement capabilities play soccer against each other. Here's the kicker. These robots don't get any special treatment. They operate with human-like limitations. No fancy radar or advanced range sensors are allowed. Instead, they rely on 180-degree vision, balance, and dynamic walking, just like a human would. It's this focus on replicating human abilities that makes the Humanoid League so groundbreaking. The robots compete in two size classes. Kid size, 40 to 100 centimeters tall, and adult size, 100 to 200 centimeters tall. Matches in the kid size league feature teams of four robots, playing fully autonomous games that often result in fast-paced action and surprising strategies. When the Humanoid League first launched in 2002, robots could barely walk, let alone kick a ball or play an organized game. Watching early RoboCup matches was like watching toddlers trying to play soccer, endearing but chaotic. Fast forward to today, and the progress is staggering. Modern robots in the league are now capable of dynamic walking, running, dribbling, passing, and even strategic team play. They can autonomously locate the ball, navigate the field, and coordinate with teammates, all without human intervention. And while they're not quite at human levels of performance yet, they're closing the gap faster than many expected. One of the most significant achievements in the league is balancing the physical constraints of humanoid robots. Unlike wheeled robots or those with specialized designs, humanoid robots have a high center of gravity and relatively small feet, making balance a constant challenge. Overcoming this issue required breakthroughs in real-time decision-making, motion control, and energy efficiency. One of the standout participants in the upcoming RoboCup Humanoid League is Unitree Robotics a company well-known for its innovative AI robots. Unitree has officially announced that its upgraded Unitree G1 humanoid will be competing in the league's adult-sized division this summer in Salvador, Brazil. The G1 soccer upgrade is impressive. It features a 180-degree depth camera for better field awareness and two additional degrees of freedom in its neck, allowing it to look around more naturally. These enhancements will give it a significant edge in spotting opponents, tracking the ball, and adjusting its strategies in real time. But it's not just about hardware. Unitree is leveraging advanced reinforcement learning RL frameworks to train the G1, integrating simulation platforms like Isaac Sim and Mujoko. These platforms allow the robot to learn and improve its performance in a virtual environment before applying those skills in the real world. While Unitree is just one of many competitors, its commitment to pushing the boundaries of AI and robotics makes it a company to watch in this year's RoboCup. So, the big question, 
Can the RoboCup initiative actually create a robot team capable of beating human World Cup champions by 2050? The short answer is, maybe. The longer answer depends on a few key factors. Technological progress. While robots have come a long way, there's still a significant gap in agility, adaptability, and decision-making compared to human players. However, with advances in machine learning, biomechanics, and robotics, that gap could shrink dramatically over the next 25 years. Human collaboration. The success of RoboCup isn't just about better robots. It's about fostering collaboration between researchers, engineers, and AI experts worldwide. The competition is designed to encourage knowledge sharing and innovation, which accelerates progress across the board. Physical and strategic challenges. Soccer isn't just about running fast or kicking hard. It's about teamwork, strategy, and improvisation. Teaching robots to make split-second decisions under pressure is one of the toughest challenges of if RoboCup achieves its goal. The implications go far beyond soccer. A robot team capable of beating human champions would represent a new level of AI and robotics, with applications in countless industries. For sports, though, the question becomes, what happens when machines outperform humans? On one hand, it could push human athletes to new heights. Competing against robots might inspire innovations in training, strategy, and even sports technology. On the other hand, it raises ethical and philosophical questions about the role of humans in competitive sports. Will people still care about human achievements if robots can do it better? There's also the potential for entirely new sports leagues designed specifically for robots. Imagine watching a robot soccer match where the players move at superhuman speeds, execute flawless passes, and perform acrobatic goals that no human could replicate. It could be a thrilling new form of entertainment or it could make traditional sports feel obsolete. The idea of robots dominating sports is both exciting and a little unsettling. On one hand, it's a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to create machines that can mimic and potentially surpass our abilities. On the other hand, it forces us to confront some uncomfortable truths about what it means to be human. Will they replace humans in other areas of life, from work to art to relationships? These are questions that go beyond sports, touching on the very essence of what it means to be human in a world increasingly shaped by machines. RoboCup is more than just a competition. It's a glimpse into the future of AI and robotics. Whether or not the initiative achieves its 2050 goal, the journey itself is pushing the boundaries of what's possible in technology and sports. As we look ahead to this summer's RoboCup in Brazil, one thing is clear. The robots are coming and they're changing the game, literally. Let me know your thoughts. Would you watch a soccer match between robots and humans? And if the robots win, is that something to celebrate or something to worry about? Let's talk about it in the comments below. Stay tuned and I'll see you next video.